Hey guys, Jason here, and we are playing No Man's Sky, the permadeath mode, and we just triangulated our position for Artemis, so let's go talk to him. Let me go up there and see if I can make it. Come on. Oh yeah, easy peasy now, now that we have our updates. I could just jetpack my way all the way up here, right? Oh my god. Holy cow, I almost fell. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, now let's... Go talk to him. We're going to activate. Come on, Artemis. Have you triangulated your position? Let me know when you're ready to receive some data. Yes, let's get some data. Artemis transmits a packet of data, a star chart showing the skies around their location. I only have the equipment I came here with, and it's done me no good so far. I don't know where I am. I don't even know how long I've been here. So we'll need to go and take an old-fashioned approach. We can use the sky to figure out where I am. If you visit a space station, you should find plenty of locals able to match our star patterns. I'll patch my translator through so you can understand what they're saying. You need to calibrate it first, but it should only take a few words. Wait a minute. If Artemis has this, why don't I have it? Good luck, or maybe see you soon. If he has a translator, why don't I have one on my... Uh... My thing. Come on. Well... Have I, have I actually scanned anything here? I have. Okay, I have. Well, let's go down to our ship. Go talk to some people. Ooh, almost. Go. Did it switch it? No, I did not, thank God. By learning words in the local language. So let's go to the uh, space station. That should let us talk to some aliens and we can learn some words. Alright, time to learn some words, you guys. Hopefully, I don't think I've been here, but it's been a few days since I've played, so I can't remember which stations I've gone through to learn all the words or not. We're gonna find out, though. Yeah, alright. Oh, yeah, Gek. Um... I have two million. I need to get some more money, definitely. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Observe quietly. So I'm trying to learn words, man. It's cool to talk to you, but I want words. Request dialect help. Boom. That is a cool looking gek. Yeah, get some help. And actually, I'm going to improve my status with them. I'm going to give them a gift. Oh, dang it. Change the gift. Come on. Alright, that's fine. Look at this. This gek is really cool. Look at that. The cool eyes. The red eyes are creepy. That's creepy. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Assistant. I'm giving you the gek relic first. Can I still learn a word from you? I can. All right, perfect. Yeah, I got it. Oh, and there's there's a lot of travelers on this station. I got two of them. Man, okay, so you can learn a glyph from one of these guys, but you can only learn one per station, as far as I know. If you if you know of a way to get two different gek or uh, glyphs, let me down let me know down in the comments below. But every time I run into like two or three uh, travelers on a space station, they always point me towards the same grave. So let's choose this guy. Ask me where you came from. Ooh, thank God I can barely do it. So now I've I can go there and learn a a glyph. Visit life forms and ask about your position. I'll just keep learning more words. Oh, I have to go to that specific place? Oh, I gotta go over there. Okay. 
Got to go to that target guy. He'll tell me where I am. Or where uh, Artemis is. I'll pinpoint him. Come on. Oh, you, your big head's in the way. Come on. Talk to this guy. You have a cool hat on, man. Nope. Do they have a task? Let's actually, let's do it. Maybe it's something cool. Scan four plants. I could totally do that. I haven't seen anybody land, so I couldn't look at other, other ships. That's okay, though. Let's go. Famous. I've met 40 aliens. And I learned 15 words. Yeah. Is that my grave over there? Unknown grave. Let's go hit that grave real fast. I'll show you guys what I mean. What I mean by that. Nice. This looks like a nice planet. It's probably poisonous or something like that, but it looks nice from the atmosphere. Yeah, mushrooms. That means it's poison, probably. It's toxic, I should say. I think this is where I talked to Artemis before. Yeah, you just go over to this. Toxic planet, yep. Let's talk to him. And then extract the glyph. I leave the fallen traveler in peace. And now I have one of 16, yeah! Are the sentinels okay? Sentinels are average, thank god, okay. Uh, do I have any plants? I haven't. I think I've scanned all the plants on this. Nope, not all of them. What was that? Oh, come on. I need to buy some toxic protection. I actually need to buy some more uh, exosuit slots. That way I can actually... I don't need minerals, I need plants. Alright, let's get out of here. There is a abandoned building. You know what, let's go make some nanites. So let's hit the abandoned building. We're gonna park close by. This is a small abandoned building, I like it. Let's get up here. Whoop. Don't die. Alright, so I need to get. Oh, we'll make a hole right here. That should be good. Oh, there's only three on this one? Come on. I need to cheap me out on that. At least four on this one, at least. I'll do that. Now, those are on top of the plates. That's going to be hard to get those. This one only has... Okay, four. Okay, I'll take that. Another one where they're on top of the metal plate. I don't think I can scan through or uh, mine through that, but maybe... Oh, let's switch. Oh, God. Done. And clear off this a little bit. All right, now, mining beam. Come to me, my lovely. Hey, hey, hey. Don't lose it. Now, you guys have been telling me to switch to first person because it's easier to do. I don't know about that. We're going to find out, though, because I'm terrible at first person in this game. I play first person games all the time, like uh, Wolfenstein and Doom and Prey, but I can't do it in No Man's Sky for whatever reason. But we'll find out. Okay, uh, okay, I'll give it to you guys. It is a bit easier to do it when you're in first person. Dang it. Should have been doing that for a while. Really? Get off that. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Oh, I need some health. Look at that. I only have two things of health. What the heck is going on here? Definitely need to go get some health somewhere. Whoa! Whoa! Go away, please. Go away, please. Oh, my God. Oh, thank God. Oh, 
I peed my pants a little bit on that one. Oh my god. Thought he was gonna murder me. Just came down my hole for no reason, huh? Now it's not a health box. I wish it was. Looking for those small silver cubes. Those are health boxes. Well, let's talk. Let's look at this terminal. Let's see what's going on. Deserted terminal. No, I have uh, larval cores. I don't need any residual goop. It takes forever to process residual goop into nanites. Just forever. Returning user identified. Terminal now active. Unlocking data log continuation for analysis. I found a body. It's unlike anything I have ever seen. If there's a species like it, then I hope they're all dead like this one. At first I thought it was some tragic remnant of a matter transfer tech malfunction. A cage of bones and flesh studded with random patterns of crooked teeth and roomy, eyeless, lidless eyes. Some horror of twisted evolution, warped by cruel nature. I can't help but picture what it would have looked like alive. Cannot help but fear that it will live again. Ooh. I discover, I discover something encoded deep inside the long dead traveler's data. Something has been left that laid me on my own journey. 38 nanite clusters. I'll take the 38. Let's make uh, my refiner right here. Since we're waiting. Fill you up. Let's do regular carbon. And let's make some nanites. Two hundred and fifty, yeah. I think the everyone's gone. Yep, they're gone. There should be some health over here, right? Yep, the little white box gives me health. Health restored. Health restored. Need a lot more health. Don't need rust of metal because I don't need any ferrite dust yet. Oh, I got a Viking dagger out of that. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, let's go to talk to the stranger and find out where uh, Artemis is. Oh, yeah, we got this. It's all on the toxic. Oh, look at there's a rainbow. That's the first rainbow I've seen. Whoa. That's awesome. That's the first one I have seen. Let's slow down. Let's land. Maybe I can find another ship. I need to get some upgrades on my ship. There's been a couple times I've had to do some space battles, and that always makes me nervous, especially with my uh, my tech so low. Maybe I just need to buy some upgrades. Let's talk to this guy. Broker, huh? Oh, friend, Greek trade protocol forbids transactions with beings of unknown credit history. So, through the garble of Artemis' translator, it is clear that I am yet to make an impact among the Gek. I need to improve my reputation rank. Oh, here, here you go, guys. I'm going to show you guys how to improve your e reputation super quick. So let's see. Actually, let's see what this guy... Oh, that's a good-looking, like, fighter. But if you land on a trading platform, you can buy items. And they always sell the cool items that for that race. So for Gek, it's Gek Relic and Gek Nip. Buy those things. Oh, let's see this guy... Now, it's going to be kind of expensive, you guys, so you need some money to start this, but you can improve your rank super, super fast doing this. So, and once you've gotten a good amount, you're depending on your level, like if you're a low level, you're going to need a ton, but I only, you know, I only got like so many because I don't have that much money. But you go talk to somebody on the trading platform. And look, he'll give you a whole bunch of options. Always offer the Gek Relic, or the offer the gift. Increase my standing with the Gek. Boom. And you could just keep talking to the same person. Or the same alien, I should say. And you can just kill over and over and over again, and it'll increase it every time. Offer Gek Relic. Boom. And you could just max out your ranking if you really wanted to. You could just sit here all day, buy a whole bunch of those gifts, and then walk over and talk to the same alien over and over, and you can just keep doing it. I'm gonna I'm gonna give away all my my gifts that way I can get some room in my inventory. So get rid of all of it. 
And then I'll learn his word. Once I'm out of gifts, because I need to learn a whole bunch of words. Okay, request dialect help. Boom. Alright, what about you, buddy? Gecknip, he'll take the Gecknip. And the same person will take, or the same alien, I keep calling them persons, I don't know why. The same alien will, if you talk to them a different time, they might take a different gift as well. So you could use the same, if there's only one alien there, you can use that same alien and just give them all of your gifts. And increase your ranking by a lot. Yeah, look, I got a ton of Gecknip. Holy cow. And you could do that. You could keep running from spaceship to spaceship. Any ship that lands, you could just talk to them and buy a whole bunch of stuff. But you got to have a lot of money, and I don't have that much money, so... I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not maxing out my standing yet. But I will be. And then, request I like help. Let's talk to this guy again. As I approach the life form, their beak begins to click. A strange gas ensuing forth. It is unclear if Artemis' translator is working. Ask for information about my star system. Life form shakes their head, disappointed in me. I try to resist smelling their gas, but the odor permeates my exosuit vents. Even my life support system. I am filled with an overwhelming desire to purchase things. Resist offering units. Eh, well, you know what? Let's offer some units for information. I offer units to the Gek, repeating my request for information. The Gek smiles, the gas rescending. They appear to have found the entire exchange amusing. <laughs> In exchange for this amusement, they offered to decode the star chart for free. Well, at least they didn't take my, uh, my credits. Strange behavior for first greeting, friend. Trade Federation pleased to establish new customer. Friend, please pass me the data for examination. I asked the life form to decode the star chart and provide a route to Artemis' location. Your data appears to be fabricated, friend, or possibly corrupted. No such location exists. So I ask if they made a mistake. Yeah, you guys messed up. The Gek is offended by the suggestion and they made a mistake. They, w they say they will give me a low rating on the Trade Federation database for my impertinence. I apologize and leave. Don't give me a low rating? Come on! I'll need to return to space and make contact with Artemis. So let's go do that. Let's go talk to Artemis. What is that? An ancient ruin. We might need to go do that. Alright, Artemis, come on! There he is. There you are. I found high ground, I think. When you arrive, I'll fire my multi-tool into the air to mark my location. What's wrong? What are you... You're not saying anything. Tell Artemis what happened. But yes, you need to tell him that. I tell Artemis the locals could not decipher their star chart. The alien even went so far as to claim those stars didn't even exist. That's impossible. I can't have traveled that far from the charted space. You found my ship. I don't know, yeah, they, I talked to a crazy gek, he could be wrong. As I speak, the line begins to crackle with interference. Artemis looks up at the stars in panic. The stars, they've altered since I made that chart. Blinked out. How is this possible? What's happening to me? I need to get out of here. It is quiet at first, but there is an unmistakable growing steady... But there... But it is there, unmistakable growing steadily louder with each passing moment. A sound beneath their words. A sound as if glass could scream. What the word? Glass could scream? That's crazy. They're coming for me. I can see them. I can smell them. I discovered the glyphs for a portal, Traveler. A gateway between worlds. I thought it would lead me to another of our kind, but now I don't even know if the voice was real. The pathway collapsed while I was still inside. I found this place in the darkness. I thought perhaps it was a planet. I was wrong. I was so wrong. I can see their faces. There are seeds of glass within their... Ask for the glyphs. Give me the glyphs, man. They're gone. My data fragmented in the... 
I just wanted to discover worlds. I wanted to find other travelers. I didn't want to be alone anymore. 16. Warn your face. Please, not yet. I'm not. The signal cuts off. As it crackles into oblivion, I hear a name through the static. Apollo. Oh, now we need to go find Apollo. A frequency for Apollo has been added to my hollow terminus contacts. Where's, where's Apollo? Oh, it's on a different planet. Thank God. This, uh, what kind of planet is this? A barren, so it's going to be a hot planet. That's all right. Let's go hit this hollow terminal. Hopefully it's not a too hot planet, but you know, who knows? I, I need to scan some plants anyway, and I don't think I've ever been here, so let's scan some plants while we're here. Landing sequence. Oh, I did scan plants. I have been here before. Oi. Alright, well, hopefully you guys liked this episode. If you did, hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading episodes all the time. So I will see you guys in the next one.